Welcome to Alignment April. I'm Elena from Reclaim Your Body Guide and each day in April I'm going to post a video with an exercise or a tip that is going to help you feel better immediately. Today we are going to start with interlacing our fingers and putting them behind our head at the occipital bone, like so, similar to what we did during day one video. And also similar to day one, we are going to ramp up the head so chin is tucked, top of the head reaches up and the back of the neck is lengthened. Hands are interlaced behind the head and we are going to look to the right with our eyes only, stay there for 10 seconds and then look to the left with our eyes only and again stay there for 10 seconds. The trick here is not to allow the neck to move. We want to unpair the movement of the eyes from the movement of the neck. And we're going to do that again. So head is ramped and you can look at your left elbow if you can see it. If you can't see it, you can just approach it a little bit forward. You're going to look at your left elbow and then you're going to look at your right elbow. And we're going to repeat that once more. So I'm looking to the left with my eyes only. And then I'm looking to the right again with my eyes only. Now we're going to take the support away and you're going to try to do that again, but this time you won't have the elbow and you won't have the support. So you won't have your head immobilized. And you're gonna try, you can actually <clears throat> put one finger to the side and the other finger to the side and try to look at your fingers or imaginary, you may try to imagine that you look at your ear. And again, you're gonna do the same thing. Important here is that the head is ramped. <clears throat> there is over the shoulder as much as comfortable. And you, you have the back of the neck is lengthened. So looking forward, and then to the left and then forward and then to the right and the goal here is to use your eyes only and not move the neck as i was talking yesterday so i'm just alternating looking to the left front and right so as i was talking yesterday our necks work a lot more than they should and we always often use them in place of other body parts. And one of those body parts is the eyes. So we turn our necks instead of looking with our eyes, which makes the muscles in the eyes to atrophy. Okay, I think that's enough. Now, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to look up. So again, first we're going to ramp up the head so chin is down, ear is over the shoulder, as much as comfortable, no strain here. Um, top of the head reaches up. And you're going to imagine if you do this exercise for a couple of times that when you look forward and your head is forward, the horizon for your eyes looks different than it would be when you ramp up the head. So when you ramp up the head, your previous forward is now down. So if you want to look in front of you, now you have to move your eyes up. And this is quite a bit of range of motion that has to be restored as the natural and normal forward. So it takes a while to readjust the eye muscles for that. And today we're going to do another exercise that is looking up, but this time we're going to, so first let's just try, ramp up the head, chin is down, top of the head is up, back of the neck is lengthened. And just look up with your eyes, just as much as you can. Now, if you look at yourself either in a mirror or if you video yourself, I, pre I prefer to, to have a video record for this one because obviously you can't look at yourself when <laughs> your eyes are up. I want you to try to take your eyes up, but not wrinkle the forehead. 
a lot of us, when we look up, we also use that frontalis muscle here of the head, which creates lots of tension in the scalp and other things that I want to go, I don't want to go into details right now. But what we're going to do is we're just going to put our hands on top of the forehead, ramp up the head and look up. And you're going to feel the tension under your fingers if your forehead wanted to, to wrinkle like that. So try to relax that. <clears throat> and look up and close your eyes. You can blink quickly a couple of times and again, look up as much as you can. Don't forget to keep the head ramped and close your eyes, blink quickly and again, look up. And now you can release your hands and see if you can look up without having your hands holding your forehead and how easy it is for you to do that. Of course, this is going to require more practice than just a video, a five minute video. So I would recommend that you do that in your own time and really give your eyes a bit of a break because our eyes also tend to both get overloaded in doing the same thing over and over again, but that thing is very limited. So we want to give them a bigger range of motion, a bigger range of opportunities for movement in order to be able to both strengthen and strengthen and relax them and also help unpair those couples that tend to exist when we don't move enough, which is, you know, neck with core, neck with back of the legs, um, neck with eyes, etc. So try moving your eyes independently and let me know how you go.